On the ladies' side, your top seed is Ash Barty, riding a ton of confidence. She's won 12 matches in a row, including titles at Roland Garros, the title in Birmingham. However, at Wimbledon, she has never been past the third round in singles. And Naomi Osaka, Karolina Pliskova, Kiki Burtons, Petra Kvitova, they all have a chance to take over that number one ranking as we take a look at the projected round of 16 on the ladies' side. And could be Benchich up there. I mean, that quarter in its entirety, the Ash Barty quarter, has six Grand Slam champions in it, Chanda. Yeah, I mean, we look at these potential fourth-round matchups, and it doesn't include the roadblocks along the way. Muguruza's in that quarter. Um, talk about Donna Vekic, who's had some nice wins, had a nice run last year at Wimbledon. Uh, and in that quarter with Serena Williams as well as Kerber, you got Julia Gerges floating in there. So there are a lot of issues that Barty would have to get through. Yeah, there's the Muguruza potential third round. Of course, Muguruza won at Wimbledon 2017. Benchich, who's in fantastic form. Serena Williams, seven-time champ. Angie Kerber is your defending champ. That's a that's a round of 16 matchup. It's a ridiculously uneven draw. The top half is so much tougher on the women's side than the bottom half that it's almost remarkable. And Ash Barty, she's kind of been, she's my favorite player in a way. I love watching her play. She has such variety. She comes in. Um, can she get it done again and Wimbledon with that type of draw? It's going to be difficult, but maybe that takes a little pressure off in some strange way that she's not, a, as a top seed, she knows that she's playing players that's no shame in losing to. All right, uh, the former number one, the two seed, is Naomi Osaka, who has never had fantastic results. And she probably got the trickiest first-round matchup, Chanda, against Yulia Putinseva, somebody she just lost to in Birmingham. Yeah, and she has not taken a set off of Putinseva. They've played before. Uh, this was their second time meeting. And Putinseva, she just brings a level of intensity. She's a fighter, good competitor out there. She can mix it up a little bit with the slices and the little short off pace shot and Osaka just doesn't seem to relish this matchup and on grass I think it's especially tough she would not have liked seeing Putin Seva in the first round but I mean this will kind of tell you a little bit of what Osaka's made of because sometimes after you lose a match you want to have that opponent right away so you can get maybe a little revenge you can turn the table so she's got to approach this match mentally in the right way Osaka does in order to get through it. Osaka has such a dangerous game when you see her play. You feel as though if she's on, she beats anybody, including Serena, that final of the U.S. Open. I know there was controversy, but she was out serening Serena in that match, serving huge, returning huge. But there's times when she looks like she doesn't know how to find the court. And when that happens, she never changes the game. She just keeps going with her style. And Putin Save is the kind of player that's going to make you work, going to make you play. All right, getting back to Serena, last year uh, a final against Angie Kerber. This year it could be a round of 16 matchup. That's how good that top quarter is. And you mentioned, I mean, Julia Gerges, she beat her in the semifinals last year. It could be a third-round matchup this year. Yeah, I mean, Serena has an incredibly tough road. I mean, that's in that Ash Bordy quarter. And, you know, the first round, first couple of rounds, more manageable. But then Gerges, and as she, you mentioned, it just gets tougher from there for different reasons. So Serena's got to be ready from the start. We're still wondering where she'll be because she hasn't had a lot of matches this year, didn't play any warm-up uh, events. So we start wondering where Serena will be in terms of her match fitness and her readiness to play, but she always seems to bring her game when she gets to Wimbledon. When she gets to all the majors, you always have to worry about Serena Williams, whether she's played a match for two years or whether she played last week. She's, she's always the player that I say she's the one you have to beat to win this title. Not so sure anymore. I think there's a lot of players that are in that mix. All right, a lot of intriguing matchups as we are just three nights away from the start of the championships.